Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to model this coffee table in 3D Max. First, I'm going to draw a box. I will make the length 60, width 120, and the height 35. And you need three segments in this box. I will make it three. Now, you can press a four so you can see these three parts. Why I'm doing this? Because uh, this um, table has two drawers and one part is empty. Let me draw this wooden part now. I will go to the front view. I will draw a line. Um, I will draw it from the middle of this drawer. I'll go down like this up to here. Now I am going to the modify panel and I will add here sweep modifier. Now the sweep modifier, I need it to be uh, first 60. Let me show you. I need it to be to have the same width of the table. I'll make it 60. And then I will make the width 4. Okay, But I need to move it inward. Now to change uh, the position of this uh, sweep um, la sweep line, I need to change the pivot alignment. Okay, I press uh, left top like this. Okay. I will go to the front. Now it is done. But in order to get um, to get the separate parts for for the top and for the side. And for the bottom, as you can see here, I need to break the uh, points. So I'll go back to my line and select this line uh, vertex here and press break. We'll go back to the sweep. As you can see, this I have three parts now. Now I will add edit poly and I will take these elements here. Press Ctrl and select the other one and move it from this point to this point. Okay, now I'm going to add chamfer modifier for all of them and I will make the amount 0.2. Okay, now I'm going to draw the base for uh, the table here and the base for the table here. First, let me choose this part. I will draw a box. Okay. I will draw a box here. And I will change the size. Uh, I will make this one 55, 75, and the height 2. I'll go to the front of you and move it down. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the base for this table. I'll, I, I will isolate it by clicking Alt and Q. I'll go to the top view. Also here, I will draw a box and I will change the width to and the height um, 6. I also will move it down and hide all. Okay. Now, okay. now I am going to um, adjust this uh, this side I will isolate first this box and I will add editable poly I select polygons like this and I will press delete now we go to the borders select this one and press cap now I'm going to select go to the top of view and I will select these edges press F3 so you can see the selected edges and you press connect 
I will slide it downward. I will make extrusion minus two. And the gap should be 0.3, like this. Now I will make a gap also here. I'm going to select also this edge and this edge and this edge. You hold down control if you want to add to the selection and this part. Now I'm going to extrude. I will, uh, I will keep the same uh, value as before, minus two and the gap 0.3. Okay. And that is my new coffee table.